a uh, quick update. I tried to put an update on a couple of days ago and it was 12 minutes long. For some reason it wouldn't upload to uh, Facebook. My grandmother rang us a couple of mornings ago and told us that at their meeting uh, they'd sort of sh well what happened was my wife rang her and said why are you okay you haven't responded on whatsapp she said, yeah, I'm just crying. my granny just said oh well, I'm trying to get over the meeting last night she said what do you mean and I said uh, right I said granny I said before you say anything can I guess what's happened she said go on then I said have you had a talk about um, in your local needs about treating uh, disassociated people the same as disfellowshipped to shun and ignore us she said yes and you could hear it in her voice she wasn't happy about it at all so yeah she wasn't very happy I was I knew this was I had an inkling that this was going to come and I kind of was hoping the elders were going to keep their heads down um, wow I'm talking about this calmly the first I made the first video about this when I jumped in the car and started recording. I was so angry. Um, I was angry and sad and unhappy at the same time. I, it was crazy. But yeah. Um, I said, you know, I, I just couldn't believe it. You've actually pushed my, my family did nothing wrong for 10 years. You tell us you can't be on the meetings you have to listen to the link there's a paedophile on there you're not doing enough to protect just my children from him um basically they took our spiritual food away you know yes we could have we were allowed on the video but would you have your kids on a live meeting when you know there's a paedophile on there the organization have got a video a, a warning about this these things you know, to be careful, that's when you don't know there's a paedophile, yet we know there's a paedophile there. It's messed up. Everything that's gone on is going to be lied about, and people in the truth will still will, will believe the lies. We're apostates now, we're liars, we're bad. I do not care what anyone thinks. Um, I'm just looking forward to doing a bit of cart crashing. Um... My wife had a study that someone else took over. Uh, my wife's talked to the study. My study won't be going back to the Kingdom Hall, which is very good. So we've stopped someone getting baptised. So I'm an official apostate now. Uh, my wife is it's good. I'm glad that that study is not going back. Um, although she already had bad experiences just going to the hall. She was quite disgusted, especially with the paedophile as well. The way he acted with her is a bit creepy, he's a creepy man and he started, the, the paedophile started hanging about with a with a, with an older man who was, who was a friend of mine, I considered him a friend and he started to change, he started to talk about young women it was really weird and my wife was creeped out so she, we stopped sort of uh, spending time with him which is very sad really he was a nice man when we first met him and when, then the paedophile moved in and started spending more time with him and, the man started changing. It was very creepy. So we've done nothing wrong. Um, we've left to protect the children. We've left, okay, we don't want it no more. We don't believe it's got an organisation. Right, you must ignore them. All oh, right, okay. Well, guess what? You're not protecting your flock. The flock. You don't protect no one. You're not protecting them from the information that I know. Because I am going to tell them everything. I'm going to tell them at the carts, I'm going to tell them in the shops, I'm going to tell them where I see them. And when they shun me, they will know that I am not to be messed with. I am not going to be shunned. It's disgusting. My grandparents have said they're not going to shun me. They're not happy with it. And they rang another brother who has actually left the congregation to go to another congregation and said, ask an elder in another congregation how you should be treating, your, treating them. Granddad said, I, my granddad's have also baptised and said, I am having nothing to do with religion that tells me I can't sit, talk, talk to my grandson. So <clears throat> let's hope they get out of it because since I've been out, I'm shocked with all the mind control and the way we're tricked. And I do feel bad because kind of my fault for getting brainwashed 
and my family have suffered because of me doing that but at the same time they could have responded nicely to me becoming a JW because they didn't quite understand what it was either so yes I made mistakes but life don't come with instructions does it <clears throat> anyway according to the JW it comes with instructions <clears throat> give up your daughters for rape off your daughters up for rape all that sort of stuff shun those you love and have no compassion anyway video over uh, I'm just making a video Marie. I'm just thinking about what I was talking about granny so granny said no I text the elder saying uh, you won't split this family and he actually opened up in WhatsApp two green ticks so I could see what, what he, I'd, he'd seen it. Didn't reply. Next morning, my granny says that he rang them up and starts quoting all these scriptures as to why they shouldn't have anything to do with us. And that really made me really angry. Problem is, the bloke's really old and if I knocked on his door, he'd probably have a heart attack. So, shaming the young brother because I could have took, took my anger out of it, which is not good. But I'm me now. I'm not to be messed with anymore. I, I've had enough of that. Although I did always stand up myself anyway. Right. What are you doing? I'm going to try and upload this to YouTube and see if it works. Screw Jehovah's Witnesses. That's all i got to say.